up YouTube? It's Sensi Cuba here and I am finally back with another video. Sorry I have been gone for a while, but I am here. And here is the Q&A which has long has been long long overdue. But before we get to the questions, if you haven't checked out my Cuban USA Nationals video, please go check that out. I put a lot of editing into it. The quality, yes, I know could have been so much better, but I'm still learning how to play around with my camera. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the questions. First question is from Traps7. What is your main? My main right now is the Mayue Long GTS V2, which is what I'm using in this video. Pretty fast, pretty flowy. I say it's flexible just cause you can do a lot of finger tricks on it, although I'm not that good at finger trips. tricks. Sorry, but yeah it's i just love it it's an overall it's a good cube overall i don't think i have not really one thing bad to say about it except the fact that it can be a little fast but that's when lube comes along next question from dow tf dl what is your pb my current official pb is 20.14 seconds my unofficial pb is 16 seconds Young Cuba Girl asked, what's your goals for 2017? This year, my goals is to be consistently be sub-20, learn full PLL and OLL. That's what I'm shooting for right now. So hopefully, you guys, I will be sub-20, maybe sub-15. We'll see. Next question from Yazid PT3. Why did you start cubing? I started cubing because I've always been interested in learning new hobbies and just having a talent that's different from a lot of people that I know. So I decided to get into it and it I just got stuck into cubing. So, And I'm glad for it because I love it. I can do it all day long, 24-7, you know, 365 days in a year. <laughs> Next question from... Hanzala is male. Is is male. Hopefully I said that right. What made you start cubing? Actually a friend has made me start cubing. I probably would have never been doing it to this day if she never showed me that she was learning how to solve it. Because she was learning and she was teaching me at the same time. And I just caught interest from there. So I went, got my own cube, hopped on YouTube because I had to finish learning because I couldn't remember all the algorithms. And it just took off from there. From Cheese Cubing, they asked, what was your first speed cube? My first speed cube was the Moyu Along V2. I still use it every once in a while. And it's, it's still a pretty good cube. I think I would recommend that cube for first time speed cubers. You know, for it to be their first speed cube. Because that's a pretty well cube. It's not too fast, not too slow. You can, you know, you can fix it up however you want it. Next question from Hubert MCFC. What are your events? My main events are um, 3x3 and then the other two is like 2x2 two two and 4x4 four four, eventually. But right now my main event is only 3x3. Three three. Next question from the Christmas Cuber. Top 3 WCA events. Well, I basically already answered that. It would be 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, and 4x4. Four four. They also asked, favorite non-WCA event? I really don't have one. I'm not that much of a non-WCA event cuber, I guess you can say. I'm more with the typical 3x3, like I said. I do need to expand my range in cubes, but I don't know. I'm just not a fan of other puzzles. I'm barely a fan of the pyramids, really. I may get into that one day. We'll see. Next question from Tyler Stavala. Cube or square one? I have to say square one. Just because that's the only one I have. I don't have a skew. But I would like to uh, get one later on down the road. But when I watch videos of people solving a skew or a square one, the square one just looks so much more interesting and looks fun because of how it shape shifts and everything and and it don't seem hard to solve, which is not, but I'm still learning. Next question from Cancer Me. Have any cubers you look up to? Um, I look up to 
I have to say one of them is Crazy Bad Cuber just because he's an older Cuber, you know. It's a lot of a lot of these Cubers are younger kids. And it's not so many older people that cubes. And I just love his videos. It's just plain and simple. He's just honest. You know, he don't overdo it. He don't underdo it. It's just so simple. I just, I enjoy watching his videos and his reviews and everything. And he just gives his honest opinions. Next question. What's your favorite color from CT Cuber? My favorite color is blue and it will always be blue. I don't know why it's blue, but I just love it. It's just so pretty. <laughs> Next question from Zoggy Cuber. What is your motivation to keep cubing? My motivation to keep cubing uh, to keep cubing is um, I would have to say just the younger generation, you know, the the younger kids who cube. Because when I go to these competitions, these kids is just crazy. They are just so talented with with speed cubing and sometimes when I'd be feeling down or feeling slow at cubing and just want to stop cubing. I think about how fast these little kids are, and I'm just like, you know what? If they can do it, I most definitely can do it. So they are my main motivation for it. Next question from Maddie Tanner. How long have you been cubing, and how many cubes do you have? I've been cubing technically for about six or seven years, um, but I just recently been speed cubing, you know, com competing um a year ago. Well, not technically a year, but I started last year. My first competition was in Dayton, Ohio, because I am from Ohio. So luckily, I found a close one, a close competition to go to. How many cubes do I have? Um, I have to say at least 10 and maybe 12, 13 at the most. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. How, I don't usually count my cubes. I just collect them as I go along. Next question is from MS Cuber. Do you think you will ever get sponsored by Cubicle or SCS? If so, just try your best. That was a very good question. Um, I never really thought about that. But I think eventually I will be sponsored by the Cubicle or SCS. I really do. I think eventually, not everybody, but a lot of people will be. Because the choir, the requirements are not too bad. You know, you just got to get... A good record and and um, competing and good uh, views on YouTube and stuff like that. You know, you just got to be really active, and I think eventually it'll happen for me. Next question from Deshaun the Man. He asks, "Do you ever like freeze up or lock up during competition?" I I do get nervous. Yes, I get nervous every single time. I really do because I of course I want to do my best. I want to try my hardest. And just solve it as fast as I can. So, with that being said, yes, I do. But I always end up um, doing better than I thought, at least you know. And I, my my biggest fear is DNFing. I don't, I do not want to DNF in the competition, but I know it's going to happen. Next question from Kubricks. How did you? Oh, I already answered that. How did you start cubing? They also asked, what's the big 3x3 three three cubes on the market for you right now? I would have to say the GANs because, um, or GAN, however you say it, because they just seem so fancy and so high-tech with their cubes, you know. I think they would um, forever be one of the biggest cubes on the market because they just seem to be so far ahead on the advanced technology that's in the cubes um, today. Next question from DNF Cuber. If you were to add an event to WCA, what would it be? Huh, that is a very, very good question. Very interesting. I would have to say that I, I don't know. I would have to think long and hard about that. It would probably something be something bizarre like, I don't know, trying to run through an obstacle course while solving it. See how well your focus is, you know. Because for me, I could barely, I could barely uh, solve and talk as it is. So thank God for voiceover because I would be messing up like crazy. Next question from the Trent Cubed. They asked, if you could make a cube, what would it be? <coughs> wow, that's another good question. That I would have to think long and hard about too. 
and it may be something that shape shifts because I like shape shifting puzzles. Um, you know, it puts it really puts a challenge to your brain. So if anything, it would be in a shape shifting category. But I don't know just quite yet what exactly it would be. Last question from Lamp Solves Cubes. They ask, which cubing company would you work for? Like Moyu, Chi, etc. That I never thought of because I just never thought of me working for a cubing company. But if anything, I would probably, I mean, I would be happy with with either either company. So first I would have to work with Moyu, see how I like it, work with Chi, see how I like it. And then I can decide whether, you know, which one I prefer over the other. So, you know, it all depends on preference and experience at working at those companies. So, that was the last question. Thank you guys for all the wonderful questions. Hopefully, if you like this video and you want more Q&As, drop some more questions or you can request it. And I'll go ahead and ask for some more questions and I'll make another one in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again be sure to check out the Cuban USA Nationals video and let me know what you think about that and also let me know what you think about my solves in this video. Yes I have been practicing and I hope it shows. I know I messed up a few times but that happens. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you guys next video.